How's it going everybody? This will be a quick video explaining a very fundamental concept of For Honor. Reason for why I'm explaining it again, despite having done so in multiple videos in the past, is that somehow it still hasn't reached a considerable portion of the community. To this day, I still see players claim that they get stunlocked by attacks, or that Griffin's Kick is an amazing ganking tool. Yes, I'm going there, because high damage does not equal an amazing ganking tool. So let's make it crystal clear. There is no stun locking in this game. If you repeatedly eat attacks, then it's not the game's fault, it is yours, as there is a mechanic in the game that prevents exactly that. And then there is another mechanic to annul that one, but I will explain that as well. So, third hit stun. You all know that when an attack hits you, it puts you in hit stun. That can be light, medium or heavy, depending on the attack. That's from shortest to longest. And within said hit stun, a teammate can confirm another attack. In fact, up to 3 attacks if they hit in perfect succession. Damage reduction goes up and consecutive hits do less damage until it's capped at 25% at the third hit. This can be easily seen on wall splats with teammates. But I will make a separate basics video about damage reduction eventually. For now, we'll stay with the hit stun mechanic. As you can see, Already after the third hit, my character has the glow that indicates a move being armored. Which means you're back in neutral. No stun lock, no endless, uncounterable light chain. There is none of that. The same rules apply to bashes. Double bashing someone will result in double reduced, or if timed incorrectly, no damage follow ups. That is also the reason why Griffin's kick can't be set up in a gank. You will always either be able to dodge out of it or block the follow-up heavy. I've shown this before. This time don't throw, <laughs> Griffin's gank is done with his running heavy, not with his kick. I get the frustration that comes with the big damage, but please don't mislabel things and state completely wrong facts just because you made a wrong read. One wrong read meaning 50 plus damage in a teamfight is not exactly fun, I don't think many people would disagree here. But that doesn't mean that the rules don't exist anymore. Yeah, I said that this rule can be broken. Pins do reset said hit stun. Centurion or Gladiator for example have the pin property on their charged heavies and skewer respectively. Getting hit by them always counts as first hit. That is why, especially Centurion, is such a prominent ganker. I've done an entire video explaining this in great detail while showing many different gank setups. These have been even more refined nowadays, so I'm not claiming that my list is in any way complete. But this should give you a pretty good idea now, even if you get hit by a lot of attacks. Damage reduction is immense, and you can defend almost immediately after the third hit. Consecutive attacks do not apply their stagger one after the other. There is no hit stun stacking. We have the opposite actually. So please no more claims about stun locks in the future. Thank you. And that's it already. If there are still questions, you know where you can find me. Discord link is in the video description. I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody. Wait, uh, let me get in. You throw a heavy for I throw a heavy for you to right, carry cool. him. Doing it with Fentec. Huh? Well, I frantically do that, alright, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to worry. <laughs>